Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now, in today's video, we're going to be having a look at a product by Grid by Simlab. And here it is. This is the Porsche 911 GT3 Cup dashboard. Isn't it pretty? But before we get into having a look at it, there's a couple of things that I want to say as usual. So, first of all, a disclaimer Grid by Simlab sent me this item to test and have a look at. So, I haven't paid for it. But they don't see this video before it's published and they have zero input in what I say. Secondly, as always, I will tell you that I'm not a reviewer of products. That's not what I do. There are guys out there that do it far better than I ever could. But what I am, though, is a sim racer exactly the same as you. And that's the opinion that you're going to get. So when I'm looking at a product to buy for my rig, there are only four things really that I look for. Firstly, how does it look? If it doesn't look right, well, I'm not going to buy it. Secondly, what's the build quality like? Thirdly, how does it perform? And finally, is it value for money? So let's have a look at the dashboard. So as you can see, this thing is an absolute whopper. That's what she said. Um, it's an exact replica of the Porsche 911 GT3 Cup Car dashboard. It's 10.3 inches. It's got a resolution of 1920 by 720 and it's 60 hertz. Essentially, what you're looking at here is a monitor. I'll give you a look around the dashboard. So on the side there, you can see there is an infrared receiver there. That's for the little handy remote control. Um, nothing on the other side. On the back, well, you can see how it's mounted. I left the carbon fiber mounts attached. That comes with the kit. And on the bottom, you have your inputs there. So we have a HDMI, we have the power, and we have USB. All of those have got to be connected for it to work. And on the front, we have got 24 LEDs on the side and across the top, which you'll see in action very shortly. So let's talk about how it looks, first of all. Well, I think it looks stunning. I mean, you probably know that I am a Porsche guy. I mean, I've got a Porsche t-shirt on to make this video, for God's sake. I am a Porsche guy. So I think it looks fantastic just because it's a Porsche dashboard. But the actual housing itself is beautiful. What a stunning piece of equipment this is. This would look good on any sim rig anywhere in the world and because it's officially licensed by porsche well for me it just makes it a little bit more special so looks wise i think it looks fabulous build quality well i mean look at it look at it it's perfect i mean genuinely perfect i can't see anything wrong with it i mean it I keep getting my grubby fingerprints all over the dashboard. That's the only thing. Uh, but build quality is perfect. The carbon fiber mount on the back there. This is for the Simi Cube. You do get two. There's the other one. It might be able to get a better look at that there. So that's for the Fanatec. Um, so you get two of those included in the kit. Um, they are stunning. Honestly, build quality, as you would expect, it's a, it's a Porsche licensed product. It's got to be Porsche quality, and it is. I've never owned a Porsche, but I can imagine that the well-built, the German. This is no different. Absolutely perfect. Now, let's talk about performance. Now, to use dashboards on this display, well, you use SimHub. SimHub is a free piece of software to download, although you can donate to get some extra features. But that's where you download all of your dashboards. That's where you import your dashboards and all of the profiles so the LED lights work. So I had to tinker around with this and I loaded loads of dashboards that are on SimHub and they all work perfectly fine on here. However, you will find that there are gaps on either side because they are not configured or designed to be used with a display with this resolution. But I have downloaded a couple of dash templates 
from Grid themselves. One is the Porsche dashboard, and one is a custom dashboard that they have made with a million and one different pieces of information on there. In the sim, it was absolutely flawless, worked perfectly. I was able to switch from one dashboard to the other whilst still running the sim. I didn't have to exit out. Everything worked as it should do. And I was also able to watch a little bit of YouTube on there at the same time. So this could be used for pretty much anything. You could run your dashboard on there, but if you didn't want to, you can use it as a second screen to play some videos, or you could have chat on there if you were a streamer. It's got many, many different uses apart from just the dashboard. Now, before we get onto price, I just want to talk very briefly about a couple of little issues I had when mounting it and using it. Firstly, in the kit, they give you a 90 degree HDMI cable, which is really nice for thinking about where your cables are going to go when you've mounted it. However, I use a Simlab P1X cockpit with the Simlab P1X wheel deck, just your bog standard stuff from Simlab. But I couldn't use this 90 degree cable with the dashboard. It wouldn't clear the top of the wheel deck, which meant I had to go and buy another HDMI cable, which is no biggie, but I had to order it from Amazon, wait for it to come in, blah, blah, blah. So the cable I had to buy was just your regular straight up and down cable. The second little issue that I had were with the bolts that come in the kit. Now, as you can see on the, the mount there, these holes are countersunk and you get some countersunk bolts in the kit. Although they weren't long enough, they were nearly catching on the thread but not quite maybe needed another five millimeters so i had to use the bolts that i already had on my rig to attach my semi cube to my wheel deck that's fine although like i mentioned these are countersunk and because i was putting a bolt on there i didn't really want to tighten it down too much in case it cracked the carbon fiber so there were my two issues mounting the hdmi cable wouldn't clear the wheel deck and the bolts that were included in the kit just weren't long enough. Now, one of the big downsides of owning a dashboard of this size is how much real estate it takes up on your screen. Now, I'm running 27 inch monitors and I have my monitor or my wheel deck right underneath my monitor. So it's really close. I sit my eyes around about 60 centimeters from the screen. Lining up the dashboard with the dashboard in the simulator was a piece of cake. My field of view is set up correctly, so this was a perfect one-to-one -one match with this and the simulator. Although, I couldn't see anything really on the bottom of the screen. This took up probably three quarters of the bottom of my screen horizontally and vertically, well, probably around four inches. And for me being an iRacing guy, well, that covers up all of the replay controls. The bottom of the screen was pretty much useless. I had to move my steering wheel away from the screens just so I could see behind to see what I was doing. And obviously that then messes with the field of view. So I don't know if I would recommend this size for 27 inch screens if you have your wheelbase directly under your center monitor if your wheelbase is a bit further back maybe a foot further back you won't have any issues at all but if you like me have your wheelbase under your center screen well this isn't really an option long term so we'll talk about price now now i've said it many times nice things don't come cheap they really don't if you want to own nice things well it's a fact of life, you've got to put your hand in your pocket and spend the money. Now, this is 599 euros. Is it worth it? Well, I think it is, and I'm going to tell you why. Firstly, it's an officially licensed Porsche product. It's got Porsche's stamp on it. Well, that means that the price goes up a little bit. Secondly, it's an absolutely stunning piece of kit. Genuinely, take away the Porsche licensing 
it's just a really, really nicely made, tidy piece of kit. I literally can't fault it at all. Thirdly, you can use it for many things. It's not just a dashboard, it's another monitor. So like I mentioned, you can read your chat, watch videos, do whatever you want on it. It's got many, many different functions. So for me, 599 euros, it's expensive. That's as expensive as some people's full setup. I understand that. I know it's expensive. But if you're looking at one of these, then you obviously like nice pieces of kit on your rig. For me, 599 euros is worth it. In that, you get a couple of mounts, USB cables, power supply, HDMI cables. The packaging I want to mention is amazing, by the way. It was brilliantly packaged. I did record it, but I don't think it came out very well. The packaging is superb. And I know that you're not going to spend 600 euros on packaging, but when you think about the whole package, the packaging, how it's presented, the build quality, the Porsche licensing, the, the multi-use functions of this display, well, I think it's worth it. Would I spend my money on it and buy it now? No, I wouldn't because I'm running 27 inch screens. So I wouldn't use it where it's supposed to be used. I would have to mount it somewhere else. And that really defeats the purpose. I think if you're gonna buy this, well, you're gonna mount it and use it as a dashboard. For anybody running screens bigger than 27 inch, then you will have absolutely no issues. It was just with me, with my particular setup, it just took up too much of the screen. So we'll summarize. How does it look? For me, looks beautiful. Secondly, build quality is perfect. I can't fault it at all. Like literally can't fault it, it's perfect. Thirdly, performed flawlessly with SimHub. Tried many, many different dashboards. They all work perfectly. The ones from Grid by SimLab were stunning. The official Porsche dashboard for the cup car and the, the other one with all of the information on perfect. I even watched YouTube on there, controlled my computer from on there, using it as a monitor. No problem at all. So I'll leave a link down below in the description if you want to know any more information about this dashboard. I would highly recommend it if you've got screens bigger than 27 inch or if the screen isn't directly above the front of your wheelbase. Check out the link in the description below. Thank you very much to Grid by SimLab for sending me this to test and have a look at. I do have another Grid by SimLab product to have a look at. It's another dashboard, but a bit smaller, and we'll be having a look at that very soon. But as always, thanks for watching. Hopefully, this was helpful. See you later, cheese.